all three of our officials today, our international referees, Toti Selesek, Joe Garcia, and Harry Santos. And off we go. Mapuwa in yellow, Jer Yu in blue. Buckle up. Get your popcorns ready. Get your drinks ready. It will be a good one between the number one Mapua Cardinals and the final four spot hunting JRU Heavy Bombers. Andre Felix, Big Bo Belga. And at first possession, Mapua came up empty. Good pass to JL, but missing that short stab in the inside. Balik sa Mapua. Here's Rosilio. Goes down low to Boni. The kick out, Rosilio lines it up for three. That time he overshoots his mark. JL always looking ahead, finding open teammates. That would be a clear case of a traveling violation mm -hmm. on JRU. Called on De Leon. Very surprising it on starting unit ni coach Louis. Eh? He started De Leon in the Defending itong si Warren Bonifacio. Rosilio driving. And still scoreless over a minute gone by. Both teams still struggling to find a way to put that basketball inside a ring. Ayun naman. Not that time. Uh -huh. Finally, Jeryu. On the board, thanks to that basket from De Leon. Now let's head courtside. Listen to Aliana Faustino, who's able to speak to team captain Warren Bonifacio and also head coach Randy Alcantara. Aliana, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Andre and Bo. Hunger and humility amidst the physicality and mind games of the JRU Heavy Bombers. Yan daw ang aabangan natin sa Mapua Cardinals para sa kanilang team captain Warren Bonifacio. Even though they are on cloud nine after securing their first number one feat in Mapua's history, the Cardinals are not resting on their laurels because they admit they still had communication and defensive lapses against the Arellano Chiefs. That is why in this game, they strengthened their individual and team defense while also forging the mindset that this season does not end just by being the top seed. Coach Randy Alcantara's final reminders for the team ay ang huwag magkakumpiyansa. Bawian natin sila by staying composed, aggressive, and disciplined in defense. The question now is, will the Cardinals inch a step closer to the crown with a win? Well, let's wait and see, Andre and Bo. Thank you so much, Aliana, for that report. Indeed, what she said Mapua just elated, Big Bo. Uh, first time in NC history, the number one, number one seed sila after the elimination round. Actually, nung uh, una ko na rinigit, sabi ko talaga, I, I, guess, I can't believe. Magtataka kayo kasi oh, mandami player na, kumbaga, nang, nagdaan dito sa Mapua. Exactly. Those are guys are talagang, you will consider them as superstar. Pero nung nasa collegiate level sila, they, they can go on top. Nung, ano, nung, ng NCAA. So, Tama. ibig sabihin, ganun kabigat yung NCAA in the previous and then until now. Well, kasi kung sa bagay nga naman, madalas kasi sa Beda, oh. Betran. Pero, di ba, may mga times, uh, kahit ang panahon nila Coach Randy, no, nag-champion sila back in 1992, parang uh, malalakas kasi din yung mga, uh, may mga teams na malalakas ang Mapua na kahit ang panahon nila all well arrive, eh, di ba, parang hindi ka makapaniwala na never nag number one. Hindi nag-number one, oo. Oh. Kaya yun, Yung, yung mga times nila 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 Cap Alvin nung nagdala po sila dito <laughs> hindi rin sila nag number one pero si Boss Alvin talagang kumbaga <laughs> magtataka ka rin Escamis eto naman knocking down his first jumper and his first field goal making his presence felt here up to ang Mapua eto etong batang to talagang hindi mo kailangan kailangan na Sabihan siya na tumira ka dahil nasa arsenal niya na yun. Ayun. Meanwhile, almost a steal there by Peter Rosillo but he will be called for his first personal foul. Puta naman tayo, let's board side this time. Jerry side with Mickey Santos for her first quarter report. And I believe she was able to speak to William C. about their survival mode. Tell, tell us more, Mickey. Andre Bo, kung meron daw kayong makikita sa panic ng Jerry Heavy Bombers ng ngayong laro ay ito raw ang gigil. Because for according to William C., we are in a survival mode. Kung baga, para na tayong malalaglag sa bangin, kaya kailangan namin lumaban at kamapi 
Well, now earlier in the dugout, head coach Mui Gonzalez reminded his players to bring back the desire that they have in playing the sport that they love because for them, junior youth branding requires so much desire to win every game. And not just that, coach wants his players to bring out the effort, focus, and concentration that they have for every game because dahil sa kanya, sa kanila daw, mismo nagsisimula ang mga laban at energy. At ito pa, Ate Ingo, kung merong mang nakasulat sa kanilang warmer jersey, may kita natin na saktong-saktong sa gustong makita ni Coach Louie. And that is to find your inner, inner hero in this game. Now, back to you. Maraming salamat, Becky, for that report. Wala na, ilabas mo na lahat ng baraha mo dito. Wala ka nang hitatago dito. Sa ganitong yes. klase ng ano na yan, nasa do or die ka, uh, you need to put out everything. Kasi pag kahit hindi mo itina, inilabas ngayon, next season ka na. <laughs> next season ka na, magpiprepare ka pa ng napakahabang panahon. 6-2 to ang score natin. So we're back inside of Philo Eleco Center in San Juan City, continuing our coverage of the NCAA Season 99, New Heroes of the Game. And this is your favorite sports and entertainment show. You guys are watching Game On. My name is Martin of You're taking care of business for our post-game show. At ngayon po kasama natin dito at the heels of their win. Tenth win of the season. Mapua, nanalo kanina. Uh, contra San Sebastian, 70 to 63. Nandito ang kanilang court general, floor general na si Clint Escamis na nagkakaroon na ng fan base dito sa NCAA. Clint, good afternoon. Hello. Good afternoon. Our featured matchup for today, Season of the Guards. Rookie MVP frontrunner Clint Escamis against JL Del Santos, one of the graduating players along with team captain Ray De La Rosa. This will be a good, good matchup. Pero parang hindi ko pa nakita big bonus sila nagbantayan eh. Dahil siguro, pinapreserve din sa depensa. Meanwhile, the putback, di pa rin makakuha ni De Leon ng Jerry But that will be a good one, Escamis and De Los Santos. Oo, oh, kasi nga yun niya. Both of them, uh, both of them are mga high quality player. Pero ito, speaking of high quality pe, pinakikitaan tayo ni Warren Bonifacio dito. Kanina, pinakitaan tayo perimeter siya at ngayon naman sa ilalim. Talagang pambol na eh. Hinog na hinog na to. Oo. Hinog na hinog na to si Bonnie. Kumbaga, kumbaga to ito si Warren Bonifacio. After na after ng NCAA, somebody in the pro will get him. For, for sure. sure. Oo, for sure. Averaging 10 points a game in his final season. Close to 6 rebounds. And from the 2-point area, 42%. We know Bonnie loves the mid-range. He makes a living out of oh. those jumpers inside the shaded area. Oh, kasi makikita mo, some of the guys, or most of the guys, the big guys now, can shoot from the outside. Ito naman si Bonifacio, ang minaster niya is yung perimeter, mid-range, ano na, na shot. Piso -piso, oh, eh. oh, yun ang, yun ang kinakabisado na. I, I could remember him, comparison niya is Larry Rodriguez. Magandang kumbakison yan. Ha? Diyan na buhay si Larry Rodriguez in the PBA. Ooh. Ito naman. But meanwhile, that good alley-oop. Marwin Dionisio just checking in the ball game and fight being found there by J.L. De Los Santos. Finally, second basket from JRU. Coming here with the under six to play. Escamis. Pinahirapan ni Miranda, Bonifacio. Pinahirapan ng Jerry to matak ng heavy bombers. But Uy! that pass, Del Santos. Sayan. Could not handle. It's Camis. Oh! Could not handle that pass on the other side. Uh -huh. Turnover. <laughs> Bawian ng turnover. Ito, Ito yung alley-oop big ball. Uh -huh. Kanina pa nila pinipilit yung play na yan. Eh. Hindi nila magawa-gawa talaga eh. Pero on this one, nakuha na nila yung play nila ngayon. Coach Louie on your screens. Uh, there's a mandatory substitution dito para kay Clint Scamis. So, Jerry, by the way, one of the last teams in terms of committing turnovers because we know they love to push the pace. Big bowl. Because Jerry commits 16 turnovers a game. Mapua naman is the number one team in taking care of the basketball. 13 turnovers lang as a team per game this season. Oh, hindi naman sila magiging number one kung, kung, baga, kung pabaya sila sa bole. Mahirap, hindi, 
Napaka-imposible nun na ikaw pabaya ka sa bola tapos nasa, nasa top seed ka. Parang, kumbaga, paano nangyari yun? <laughs> Di ba? So, ganun, ganun kasimple yung, ano, kumbaga, yung pag in-analyze mo eh. Di ba? Yung logic nun. <laughs> Take care of the ball and you will be on top. Ganun, ganun ang ginagawa ng Mapuwa. Del Santos, that high looper. No go. Second try. Wala pa rin para sa JRU. Sarmiento now in the game. So far, Big Bo, JRU, just two out of ten. Sa kanilang field goals, 20%. Mm-hmm. Kasi most of most of their shots are, ano eh, alam mo yung parang pinipilit lang nila eh. Na maitira na lang. Hindi sila yung Eh, nagkaroon sila ng one time na ti, na alley-oop. Eh, yun yung nangyari. Ito na naman. Coming off a screen. Tira ulit. De La Rosa missing on that three. Miranda attacks. Out to De La Santos. Pass pick. Jumper by JL. Too strong. They're really having problems finding the ring. Wala pa rin para kay Junisio. Jerry, you had their opportunities. Big ball. But now shooting two out of 11 from the field. 18%. Grabe, ilang tries yung yung sa possession kanina ng Jerry. Ito na naman si Warren Bonifacio. Oops, lakas lang. That time he misses. Miranda. The defense by Paolo Hernandez. Del Santos back to 8 gem. Setting his feet. Yes! Baka sa mess! Sa wakas! Uh-huh. Kung si Escamis hindi nahihiyan to Mira. Ito rin. Itong 8 gem Miranda na to eh. Talagang Pure na pure ang kumpiyansa nito. Agent Miranda is JRU's leading scorer in season 99, 13 a game. Actually, medyo bumaba na nga siya eh. In the previous, ano niya, I think he was 16 eh. Nung mga nakaraan eh, medyo bumaba yung scoring contribution nito ni AJ Miranda. Maybe because some of the teams are adjusting on him na talagang hinihigpid na rin siya na since ano, na, ano rin sa scouting report na o oh, si AJ, may scorer yan. Can average 16. So, nag-focus ang depensa kay AJ ngayon. Pati, mas mar- he, he's been getting more shots uh-huh. this season. Kaya yung averages din niya medyo bumaba ng konti, as he said. Kahit sa 3-point area, 29% here's body. Bumuntaan si Hernandez, pero lumusot sa mga panit. Hernandez, tumatak mo si Miranda, eh, gem looking. De La Rosa back to a gem earlier, just hit a 3. Using that Janisha screen. Jerry will set their offense. Argente now in the game as well. Junisho. They have forced it against Bonifacio and Warren was pushed by Warren by Marwin Junisho. I think pangalawa na ni Marwin Junisho and then they are in the penalty. Oh, tama. Ayun naman. No choice. Terry lalabas si Marwin Junisho. And uh, Aguinal, Ryan Aguinal gets the signal from the coaching staff to replace Marvin Junisho. Oh, para, rin, para rin magkaroon ng matchup itong si Warren Bonifacio kasi kanina medyo mismatch itong si, si Junisho pag dumatapat kay Warren Bonifacio. Eh. So now at least kahit papano, he has a matchup. Kasi mabigat-bigat din ka si Bonnie, 90 oh, oh. kilos, 6'4". <laughs> <four>? Hindi magaan yan. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi magaan yan. Plus, yun nga, ang kagandahan dito kay Bonifacio, he has the moves sa poste. And tapos sasamahan mo pa ng perimeter, ano niya, eh talaga mabigat. Mabigat na trabaho for a big guy. Bonnie getting second free throw. Four-point lead. At ilalabas muna ni Randy Alcantara, si Warren Bonifacio. Kaya yeah, pag tinignan mo yung mapuwe, eh, no? Kumbaga, they are already in, in the final four. Number whatever one. Ha- Oo, oh, whatever happens today. No bearing number bakit sa kanila. Oh, no okay. bearing eh. Pero tingnan mo, na, yung, yung, yung the, usual, the usual gamit ni Coach Randy, ganun pa rin eh. Oo oh, eh. Kasi kung, kung ikaw, di ba? Kung ikaw as a coach, you will think of the future eh. Diba? Na parang kumbaga, pwede kang medyo gumamit doon sa... Mag-minor ka muna. <laughs> kumbaga, hindi. Kahit sa NBA, diba? Sa, oh, sabi diba? load management. Oo, oh, oh, yun ang ano. Diba mo. like sa 
Kahit naman na nalala ko si na Yanis, di ba yung Milwaukee, sure number one na may last game, mm-hmm. eh, Yanis pinahinga siya dun sa regular season para fresh siya pagdating ng oh. playoffs. Pero nakukuha ko yung punto mo kasi oh. nandiyan pa kasi binalik, oh, binalik ano, na naman si Warren. Binalik pa si diba? Warren Bonifacio. Uh, si Clint Iskamis oh. nandiyan. Si Paolo Hernandez <laughs> nandiyan. So Good Coach Candy Alcantara ano, isn't holding back. Oh, walang, walang ano. They will, they will uh, play the usual, the usual game. Miranda, the quick double there. Arenal, the jumper. Wala. Bangwani Escamis. Clint looking ahead. The cards are running. Good pass by Soriano to Hernandez. Oh, Para sa akin, ito na yung ano eh. Ito na yung deep five ni Coach Randy talaga. Itong limang to, dito siya sasandal pagdating ng playoffs. Eh. Pero may JC Recto pa eh. Eh yun, isa pa yun. Recto, matibay oh, din yun. Isa pa yun. Pero ganun nga, kalalim big bow itong mabuwa. Oo, oh, big, bigla, bigla nga sila. Nawala lang yung, Ito nawala yung Adrian Noko. Pumalit yung Iskamis. Mas matindi pa yung kinocontribute ng bata. Kesa dun sa Adrian Noko in the previous season natin. Di ba kakampi mo yun? Nagpo-practice sa amin now. Nasa amin. <laughs> Ito yung magandang transition. Tinan mo. Oh. Nakita ni Escami sa gitna sa Soriano. Is big man running. And then, baseline cut. Paul Hernandez. Mapu up. 6-13-7. 2-17. Left to play in the first. Ayun! Ako! Thank you. Thank you, Papa Martin and JV. Andun sila ngayon. Siyempre, mga papi ng NCAA yan, Pekto. Mm-hmm. And of course, kasama ko si Chase. Yan. Hi, Chase. Kamusta, Pekto? Mabuti naman. At tanong ko lang sa'yo, wala ba humahabol sa'yo? Ah. Uh, wala. Hoy! Sandali! Ay, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Hindi mo wala. Sorry, sorry. Chase, kasi hinahabol. Well, anyway, nandito kami ngayon sa Barangay Ugong, Pasig City. At siyempre, para maghanap ng mga supporters sa, siyempre, dito sa NCAA. Oo, oh, at diba, Pekto, alam mo dito, hmm. parang curious ako dito ano? sa parte na to. Baka kasi ano? may nanonood. Tingin Pero, mo may nanonood sa kaya dito? Ba- Oop, oh, sandali. Mga ah. idol! Okay ba tayo dyan? Hello! Wala pa nanonood Nako. kasi ginagawa pa lang yung bahay. Oo, oh, ayun, sige, oh, sige tayo. We are talking about a wild card and how deep Mapua's bench has been. This season, and Big Bo knows this. I did ask him earlier, and siya sabi ng ni Shaq yani Shaquille O'Neal. Kaya the championship years na nila Kobe. Kailangan yung Derek Fisher, Robert Horry. Kaya tumpano nila Jordan. Kailangan mga Rodman, mga Steve Kerr, Ron Harper. Malaking bagay yung may mga Cyrus Quang ko ka, Joe Petsoriano ka, JC Recto. Because alam natin, Clint Escamis, Warren Bonifacio, Paolo Hernandez. They will come out to play every single game. Mm-hmm. Dun papasok yung mga Cyrus Cuenco, oh. Joe Pizzoriano, Peter Rosillo, JC Recto, Kobe Dalisay, Ferdi Asuncion. Hindi, tsaka yun, yun nga din yun. Um, if you have that kind of supporting cast, any given day, baka mamaya sumama ang laro nung starters mo eh. Nung, nung kumbaga ng superstar mo eh. Meron kang guys who can rely on na kumbaga yung kumpiyasa is ganun din doon sa mga nasa ibabaw mo. Agente wanted to go inside. Dangerous pass. Makukuha muli ng Mapua. Here's Escamis. Calling the play. Boni. Hihingi ni Hernandez on the low block. Guarded by Argente. Hernandez. Step back. Difficult shot. Short on that jumper. Medyo na ubusan si, si Hernandez dun pagdating niya sa spin move niya. Pero ang ganda nung atake na yun. And... JRU is scoreless in the last 2 minutes and 45. And ito yung pinakamalaking kalamangan natin. And JRU also, Big Bo, just shooting 14% from the field to oh. out of 14. Alam mo, ito si Paolo Hernandez going back to you as we see Kobe Dalisay checking in for the first time replacing Clint Escanis. He is not even one of the top scorers para dito sa Mapua. Clinton number one, Bonnie number two, Cuenco third score, Jopet Soriano yung number four. But Paolo, kahit magbintis yan ng first to th- third quarters, pagdating sa dulo, siya pa rin eh. Mo. Oo, siya pa rin eh. Siya yung titira ng crucial eh. And kumbaga, siya rin yung hahanapin ni Coach Randy pagdating ng crucial stretch. Kaya yung kumpiyasa nito ni Paolo Hernandez, mawawala sa first, first hanggang third. Pagdating ng fourth, wala pa. Nandun pa rin siya. Giyab missing from close range. It was a good post of move, but 
not get that ball to fall. That has been the story for JRU in this first quarter. We're down to our final minute. Hernandez thought about it. Hernandez, Matake. Hernandez gets hit. No whistle blown. Hernandez and refs letting the players play. 45 seconds to go. Ball goes back to JRU's side. Randy Alcantara looking at the scoreboard. Eight point lead para sa Mapua. Ito pinakamalaking kalamangan ng Mapua. In the game for the first time. Tio Pabigo for JRU. Ramos playing the point. Giyab. Balik kay Ramos. Started this game. Miranda will let it fly. No, go back to Ajem. Ajem inside in the land of the yellow shirts. Ayun naman. And Giyab no, using that glass. Uh -huh. Kanina pa sila scoreless dito. Pero on that instance, talagang sinurbol na ni Giyab. That was just JRU's third field goal made in this quarter out of 16 attempts. Soriano. Oh, one ball two seconds to go. Jopet attacks, beats the clock <laughs> to end the first quarter. And Ayun Mapua <laughs> with a 15 9 6 point lead. Check that, 17 to 9, 8 point lead. Baka sa Mapua Cardinals to end the first 10 minutes, second period when we return. Stay tuned. Dito lamang sa GTV.